Alibaba reported their earnings this past week and the earnings were stellar however on the weekly chart price is having a difficult time closing above the hundred dollar level if this was a US company if this was Amazon and we saw this much of a bait across all of the metrics that we saw you, you wouldn't be getting only two and a half percent in the trade so so what's holding it back and this is the, the real question because this is what this is what the people watching care about this article is coming from CNBC Alibaba reports solid earnings beat revenue rises more since September 2021 Chinese e-commerce giant Alibaba on Thursday said revenue grew by 14% year-over-year in the quarter that ended on June 30th. That's the biggest annual increase in sales since September 2021. Alibaba's main business, Taobao and Tmall Group, saw revenue rise 12% year-over-year. The company noted that Taobao app for online shopping saw daily active users rise in June by 6.5% from a year ago and rose further to more than 7% in July. The company's push into overseas markets also bore results with revenue from international commerce retail surging by 60%. The concern was still coming from the uncertainty towards the overall China macro, right? We are uh, adamantly seeing the macro still being a bit uh, kind of fluctuating month over month. Uh, the July macro data is still seeing some sequential uh, kind of deceleration, uh, but at the same time, BABA is catching up the growth against the industry. So again, you know, coming back to the point of the marginal improvement, as long as BABA continues to deliver superior growth versus the peers, as long as they are exceeding their expectations quarter over quarter, I think that offers you a good foundation for the investors to rebuild that level of confidence into the stock. But in the context of that macro picture where the biggest weakness is consumer spending and the consumer desire to spend, can we really say that they've turned the corner until that issue is resolved? Well, I think, admittedly, right, the macro is, has its, its own issues, right? So, but when we're looking at the monthly trend, uh, there are a few boxes we need to tick. Number one is consumers gradually rebuilding the confidence and starting back on the consumption. Yes. Right? Is Baba catching up the growth against the industry? Yes. Are people gradually kind of going back to the job market, start looking for you know, positions, and are they still going back to the offline markets and consume for traveling, for other services? Yes. Once you have all the boxes starting to tick, you know, Baba as the major retail play uh, in China will also be benefiting from that gradual recovery of overall consumption. And this is... Thursday's quarterly results compare with a year ago when China was still struggling with the COVID-19 pandemic and a two-month lockdown was imposed in Shanghai. The Chinese economy has been a mixed bag since the country eased its strict pandemic controls in December. Investors expected a strong rebound, but domestic consumer demand has remained sluggish. This year's second quarter GDP came in slower than analysts expected. Now, when we go to the charts, although price is still struggling to close above this 100-day When you go through the charts, although price is struggling to get over this $100 level on the weekly chart, price did form a daily bias level at $90. And that level is also being supported now by the moving averages, which are serving as dynamic support. So if price can pull back, that'll be an opportunity to get long. First test is going to be at that $100 level. Scrolling out to the weekly chart once the hundred dollar level is cleared you could see price continue to move higher with the next resistance coming in at 120 Hangzhou headquartered Alibaba has been undergoing major changes in the recent months in March the company said it would split into six business groups with some having the ability to raise outside funding to go public Alibaba has already said it plans to publicly list its cloud computing division. <coughs> now, compared to the U.S. stocks, Chinese stocks are inexpensive, which means that overall the Chinese market can go higher. If, if Alibaba is able to execute its split into six different companies, that means it's, uh, the parts are worth more than the, uh, the total. 
which means that you can see the stock continue to move higher after it breaches and closes above this 120 level. The next level where there's a lot of liquidity is going to be at the weekly sellers level at 160. But again for now the setup is the following. Wait for a pullback to the $90 level to go long. First target 100, second target being the 120. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.